and we're i think we're live awesome so what up guys this is the crypto homie back at you with yet again another live stream so today it's all about xrp you know that flare network spark token you know free airdrop like what is going on there we gotta check that out so do you guys like free airdrops do you guys like like, like that kind of stuff because i don't know about you but i love a free airdrop because i mean you know uni just came out I hope you guys got your chance to get that, but hey, here's another opportunity to get some free tokens. And you know, you just don't know it, it, like how much this thing will be worth in like like a year from now. The value of all these tokens changed drastically, and we're in the early stages of a bull market. So hey, everything's looking good, my guys. Everything is looking good. So guys, just let me know if you guys can hear me fine. Um, put you know, put XRP in the chat. Put whatever you guys want to put in there. But yeah, I can hear you, bro. All that good stuff. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. And uh, let's dive right in. You guys see the XRP chart right here? You know, we're hanging in around 25 cents right now. But guys, this is the weekly. And I, I got some stuff to show you, okay? So I was watching the Crypto Crew University guy, and he posted the 21 weekly moving average and the 50 weekly moving average. And look, they're about to cross. But if we zoom out a little bit, you'll see why it's kind of like a big deal. Look at this. see back here when it crossed see see what happened at, like after it crossed but if we go back further so like obviously you need to ha have more data i mean this goes back to 2014 xrp as i think it was created around 2013 so it's kind of hard to have like a really long data since it's only been around for about seven ish years you know not not exact but approximately but once we started getting so, like enough data here you can tell because the orange one is the 21 weekly moving average the blue is the 50 weekly moving average and it kind of just played around with back and forth here for a while and then all of a sudden the orange one which is the 21 weekly moving average just popped up top and stayed up top for a while i mean look at that you had a major run right there then you had a major run major run okay and then things started falling down because you know bitcoin made its all-time high everything made its all-time high and now we're correcting but now as we get to current times though let's uh, zoom out a little bit Look, guys, zoom out a little bit. Look at this. I don't know about you guys, but it reminds me of what happened in 2017. We're, we're about to cross. We're about to cross this thing, as you guys can see. It's very close on the weekly. This next weekly candle may actually make it cross over. Only time will tell. You know, the weekly, weekly candle closes on Sunday. So that's definitely exciting. But, uh, yeah, so what, like, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that... This could have major moves with this in like with this indicator. Just let just let me know down in the comments below. So get getting away from the indicator. Let's go over and just go go to CoinGecko. As you guys can see, everything is you know up slightly. Um, last seven days, XRP has been up four percent. You know, Bitcoin's at that ten nine, almost eleven k. So that is what's up. And I'm sure you guys all know Uni is popping. Uni is definitely popping. We got to, you know, quick pull that up, though. Just to show you guys. Uni's at 522 with almost a, a half a billion mark cap. That's what's up. But, guys, this is about XRP, so we're getting right into that. So, as you guys can see, XRP with $11.4 billion market cap, guys. Let that sink in. This thing's been around for a while. It's been around for a while, guys. And it's, it's, it's here to stay. You love it or hate it, it is here to stay. You guys are wanting to buy some. It's on pretty much every exchange, guys. It's out there. Where, where, wherever you trade, most likely, they have it. So let's head over to their website. And if you're not sure what XRP is, we're just going to do a quick brief over. It says XRP, the best digital asset for global payments. Guys, they're here for, it's called remittances. It's when you're spending, like, like sending a small amount of money. So if you have family in a third world country, you want to send them 20 bucks. If you use the current monetary system with SWIFT, that, first of all, it's going to take about 7 to 10 days. And then the fees are going to be like outrageous for $20. It's going to be such a high percentage. It's ridiculous. And then like on top of that, XRP is here to fix that. It's here to make those fees a lot smaller and, you know, make everything work out. So guys, here, here's their web, like, website. They, they just go into like a, a little bit of detail. Um, I've been researching XRP for the past like three years, guys. So... Is definitely here to stay. It's just XRP is a digital asset built for payments, like I like already said. Um, tra transactions take 
it says three to five seconds, so way faster than Bitcoin. I'm, and let me be clear, I'm not hating on Bitcoin, but I think Bitcoin is more of a store of value. Payments, unless it can scale with Lightning, yes, it's possible. But right now, XRP can do that. And Ripple, if you guys are not aware, they're working with all the regulators, they're working with banks, and they're getting this to actually, you know, a real use case, actually be, use XRP in the real world. And, I mean, it says XRP can be sent directly without needing a central in intermediary. Guys, I mean, any, like, cryptocurrency has that, like, same effect. So that's not, like, a super plus. But, I mean, it's it's obviously better than the current financial system. But I wanted to just, like, we're kind of jumping around. We'll get into more details, like, throughout this live stream. But the Swell event, if you guys are not aware, R Ripple has a Swell event. It's usually every October. But I saw on uh, XRP, Yoda said, Swell Europe tomorrow. So I guess the Europe event was yet, was on September 16th. But, uh, you know, so I guess they're doing these things virtual is what it looks like, um, if I'm understanding. Um, and that it, it's kind of cool, like, when they're in person, though, because then all these banks, and all these people that are that might actually use XRP can, you know, get together, talk and, you know, just socialize. It's basically a networking event for the, you know, for the Ripple to for the company Ripple to allow their customers to network and to see what's going on, what they're working on, how people use it. And it definitely spreads the awareness of, of XRP and Ripple. And just to be clear, XRP and Ripple are two separate things. XRP is like a cryptocurrency. Ripple is a company creating a use case to use XRP, mainly for remittances, you know, sending small money uh, transfers like around the world. As Brad Garlinghouse, the creator of XRP, has said that it's faster to hop on a plane and go physically hand somebody money than it is to send a wire transfer through, like, through SWIFT. Let that sink in, guys. If you want to send money from the United States to London, you're better off going to the airport, buying, an, buying a one-way ticket instantly, waiting for the, the airplane, get on the airplane, go the whole the whole ride over, the whole fly over to London, get off the plane, get, get into a car, go find your homie, and give them the money, and fly back. It's faster, to, and including like the flying back part. I don't know about you, but what do you guys think about that? I think that's crazy. You know, it's 2020. We're still using a system from decades ago. It's about time to move, like move on. But guys, this website was swell. I think it's so cool. The art they have here. I, I don't know. This is just, this is just so cool. <laughs> I'm not sure how to describe it. It's just definitely um pretty cool. It just says Ripple Swell brings together the world's most trusted voices and payments. So guys, they're basically networking with all their customers, with the employees, just getting everybody there so they can meet in person. But uh. Yeah, so that's um, that's pretty cool. So it says the the regionals, and I believe this is because of the current times. You know, not wanting they're trying to you know somewhat antisocial. So September 16th was in Europe. You had August 13th was in Menya. August 26th was in APAC. But guys, the big one in my opinion is uh, July 29th in North America. Oh, RL, I'm sorry, man, I didn't see your comment. You said XRP is cool, but you need to get on that Uni train. It bought at 360, homie. Currently 530. I know Uni is definitely great. I made a couple. I, I did a live stream yesterday about Uni and two videos, so I feel like I'm kind of like Uni out right now. But guys, there's definitely plenty of opportunities if we head over to Coin, like here. Like, the, let's refresh the page because you know things change real quick. Yeah, I mean, like my man, it's uh, 530, 540. That it's definitely some great gains. I I, I wouldn't um. You know, I mean, this is definitely a long-term hold with Uni, but hey, you, you could also make some short-term gains real quick here. So, you know, it's always nice to take a little bit of profit, especially, you know, when you got the free 400, take a little bit of, like off the table and, uh, you know, and go from there. Because if it drops down a little bit, you can buy more then. You're not, you know, all in already. But back to that, like the, uh, the where was that at? The Swell event right here. So you guys, I really think this North America this is going to be a big deal. So you guys can sign up to watch and, you know, see all the speakers. It's kind of cool that, like, they do show you. We have U.S. Faster Payments Council, FPC, um, FX Superintendent, Payments from Canada, and then the VP of Global Account Management by Ripple. Um, is that is there really only four? Because that's a little disappointing. I don't know about you. The, pad, the previous ones in person were definitely way better. Oh, it's just a 60 minute thing. Okay, that's why that like that's why it's not that big of a deal then because it used to be like two or three days. And I'm telling you, if we go back in the price, 
on uh, XRP, which I'm losing my tabs here. We go back. So this was, I'm telling you, so it's usually in October. This is 2019 October, guys. Yeah, 2019 wasn't that big of a deal. But I'm telling you, I, I remember in 2018, guys, this pop up to 80 cents was speculation for all the stuff coming out in October of 2018. It was it was crazy. So guys, um, it seems like because of the current financial times and the current antisocial distancing stuff, we're probably not going to see a major pump. But I, I really do believe with this Flare token, guys, you go over to Flare Networks on Twitter. It, I mean, like Crypto Area tweeted out, 20% of exchanges in Japan have their eyes on Spark token. BitBank, SB, V Trade, GMO, and she goes on. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that means XRP Flare. Guys, oh, this is this is a big deal. And this is just like uni, guys. You know, some people were pretty de like de like de like depressed that they didn't get it on uni. They're like, oh my goodness, I missed the boat. Guys, let, let, like, let's find the next boat. Let's find the next boat, guys. This could possibly be the next boat. For every one XRP, you will get one Spark token. And depending on if not if everybody doesn't claim, guess what? It'll actually be a higher ratio. It could be a, a 1 to a 1.2. You know, you, you might actually get, like, for, for every 1 XRP, you might get 1.2 Spark. So, guys, think about it. XRP, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, a dollar will get you about 4, a little under 4, like 3.9. 3 but, guys, so think about it. You Like, you could buy a bunch, and I would not be surprised to see a pump before the Fire Network, which we go on their, their Twitter. And it's December 12th. I already know that, but I, I want to show you guys. Um, as long as it's nearby. Okay, I might have had to scroll through for a while, but yeah, it's, it's, it, the the uh, airdrop will be December 12th, so you guys have to you know wait wait out for that, and that's a couple cu like a couple months away. We're gonna check out the Zoom wallet because uh, you know if you guys want to claim, I, I know somebody in the comments said that it says said it's a scam, and I I was doing research and I just don't um, I I'm just not sure where that person's getting that from. If hey if I'm like. If you guys can show me where you're getting that, I'd gl gladly look into it. I just, I'm, I'm not seeing the same kind of stuff. Um, I mean, Brad Garland House, I'm not sure if you guys are aware who he is. He is the CEO at Ripple, okay? As th this guy's a Harvard grad. He's a, he, he's a smart cookie. But uh, it's always nice to see what's going on on his Twitter. And he's tweeting out that he's disappointed to see India flip-flop on crypto. Yeah, because India, you know, they banned it before, then they made it legal, and now they're kind of going back. So, and, and, and like India plans to introduce a new law banning trading of cryptocurrencies. Yeah, that's not good, guys. In India, there's such a divide between, like, there's really no um, middle class for what I research. It's like the, like the rich or the poor. And if you're in the poor, I mean, like, we're talking extremely poor, like, where 20 bucks is a lot, a lot of money. And it's just disappointing to see that they're taking this. This technology away from those people that could really use it the most. I mean, it, it's, it's terrible. Um, back to Flare though. All these all these exchanges are now saying, hey, we're gonna su support this this uh, Spark token air, like airdrop. It'll be interesting to see what goes on with Coinbase. They're they're not the most friendliest when it comes to stuff like this. So guys, to basically to uh, it, like if you're not aware, if you own XRP on an exchange, in order to to, to get the airdrop, the exchange has to support the airdrop. And if they don't support it, then basically, from my understanding, the exchange just keeps it for free. They, they just profit it. They don't give it out to you. But I do know BitTrue, I mean, there's so many exchanges. Bit, like BitTrue is supporting it. BitTrue is a big XRP exchange. They have so many trading pairs. It's just crazy. So just wanted to see the, like, just show you guys the latest and greatest. And then Cred is also doing it. Um, decentralized financial roundtable. I, I, I'm I not a fluent in this language, guys. If you guys are, let me know. Um, so here's a little update about the Flare Network Spark token update. It says 19,977 accounts have set message key. So that just means that they basically signed up for this. The accounts currently have a balance of, whoa, guys, do you see this? One, two, three. Is that a 1.1 billion? 1.1 billion XRP, whoa. The largest XRP account has a balance of 168 million XRP followed by 24 million and 13 million. Guys, that is crazy right there. Um, I believe the one comment in the in the video was like XRP. The, the one um, subscriber was concerned about 
this right here where they can see how much you have where they can end up tracking you and that that is a valid concern i do un understand that but you could just put it on an exchange and get it that 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 uh is supporting the, like the airdrop what do you guys think about holding on exchanges versus uh, a personal wallet let me know down in the comments below rl you said binance and kucoin are your go-to are you like do you live in america do you use binance.com or binance.us yeah and i mean a kucoin it, it's definitely a great one um i would definitely suggest bitrue um i've used bitrue and I, I i loved it they they did get hacked but see the cool thing about them they i thought they were going to go under but they didn't they got stronger from that hack so i kind of think bit like when B bitrue first came out i bought some of their bitrue tokens because i was like you know what i didn't buy binance when it first came out and, and i could have I was like, this could potentially be the next Binance, or even if it's like 10% of Binance, it's still going to be very successful. And and they're doing a lot of stuff for for people out there. So I would give give them a, like a like a look out. There's a lot of XRP pairs, so they definitely help out the XRP like community. But guys, what do you think about already 1.1 billion XRP are now like ready for this this airdrop? It's kind of crazy. It says Flair is delighted that Altcoin Trader has decided to support the dis distribution of the Spark token, and has confirmed they will pass on all claims Spark to their XRP clients. Yeah, guys, basically, these exchanges that aren't supporting it, they're just keeping the Spark and and probably going to sell it or hold it. Like, guys, <laughs> you guys got to make sure if it's on an exchange that it's supporting it. See, it looks like Nexo. If I'm not mistaken, that's an exchange. Credit lines, guys. They're saying that they're in contact with the CEO of Flare, that they're going to support it. Guys, that's a big deal. There's some more not language that I uh, I'm, if I'm not fluent in. Uh, I think J Japanese. Um, but I know the Japans love XRP. So see Flare Network, Uniswap, Dex. Hey, let's see what goes on there. All I know is it says Spark. So you, are you guys claiming your Spark? What is going on there? Are you guys excited? I mean, one for one. I wonder how much a spark's going to be worth. Because actually, where is my... Let's go all the way up. And let's head over here. This is the Flare website, guys. I don't know. I just... I really like the art um, that these companies use. Like with uh, the Swell event, you go back to the homepage. Like, that's just so cool. That's just... I, I don't know. It just looks cool. And back to Flare. This is unlocking value. Guys, keep in mind that 75% of the value of blockchain tokens is inaccess inaccessible to decentralized applications. And, uh, well, Flare is going to change that, starting with XRP. Um, and then, USA, you said prediction for Unitrain? <laughs> Anyone? Whoa, well, uh, let's quick pull that up. Yesterday in my live stream, I think, if I recall correctly, you guys can fact check me. I believe I said I would not be surprised to see this thing hit $10 very soon. Because to hit 10 bucks, it just has to hit a billion dollar mark cap. And I think this thing is definitely worthy of billions and billions and billions. So to answer your question, USC, I would not be surprised to see this thing hit $10 very, very easily, okay? Would not would not be surprised. And I mean, and long term, this thing could hit uh, way over 10 bucks, way over. Maybe at you know, 20 to 50, possibly 100. See, let's actually update this because it changes so fast. It's up 100% in the last 24 hours, guys. It's just hitting more exchanges. It's hitting more exchanges. That's what's up. So, how much uh, you, like Uniswap do you like do like, do you guys own? Were, like, were you guys able to claim the 400? Did you guys claim a lot more than 400? Let just let me know. It's always nice to hear, guys. Hey guys, if you can just do me a small favor, just a tiny teensy favor, slap that like button and subscribe for more content, because I'm here to give you the latest and greatest in the crypto space. So back to the flare. I mean, I, I mean, I, I understand everybody's excited about Uniswap right now, but this right here shows you a, something you could prepare for to make some gains possibly similar to Uniswap. So it says introducing Flare, the world's first turning complete FBA network, scalable and database safety on native token. It says it integrates Ethereum virtual machine. Whoa, guys, that uh, that that's interesting. And low transaction costs, which guys, I mean, with uh, XRP. It was it was already a low tr transaction cost. It says you know there's no well it keeps moving. Um, 
It says like collateral for the trust list issuance of assets from non Turing complete change guys starting with XRP. Obviously they're utilizing XRP to launch. There's no ICO. You know, and if you own XRP you guys, you get it for free. So that's what's up. It says bringing Turing complete smart contracts to XRP. Guys, smart contracts are the future, okay? With Ethereum, that, that's where it first came out. And with smart contracts, guys, I mean, XRP is hugely undervalued, in my opinion. As you guys can see with this right here, it is just so undervalued. We're going to cross the 21 over the 50. If you guys missed it earlier, this right here, this right here, guys, the 21 over the 50 is major. Because if you guys missed it, we're just a quick brief overview. You go back here, the 21 over the 50, bam, look what happened. Look at that. You're going to pop up, we're going to fall back down, play with it for a while, and pop up again extremely high. Do you guys think that's going to happen? I don't know about you. I, I I think it will. I said in my XRP video about three to six months. I saw there's some people in, impatient in the comment area, and, and they're saying, yeah, when it happens, guys, three to six months. You guys got to be patient. We shall see what happens. May, may, like maybe it takes less time. Maybe it takes more time. But patience will pay off. Ripple has been working on a use case for XRP for years. So they're going to make this thing work out. And hey, and, and get yourself some free Spark tokens, guys. Spark tokens, you know, that like, that's what's up. So let's see. Let's, we're just checking out their website. Support, oh, guys, this is a big deal. You guys want to see what exchange are supporting it. Well, BitTrue, okay, we got GitHub, Uphold. I thought, thought, I, thought I saw more than this. Um, a little disappointed. Um, maybe their website's not updated. Let's check out the, the like the latest blog, see what's going on there. From August 27th, okay, it's nothing. Claiming Spark FAQs. Uh, guys, I think this is very important. You guys should definitely check this out. Uh, it says, how many Spark tokens are available to claim? That's 45 billion, okay? Guys, so let's go back to CoinGecko. There is 45 billion circulating supply XRP. So that's where the whole one for one ratio is. And that's also where you could potentially get more because some exchanges aren't gonna support it. And I'm not sure if they're gonna allow exchanges to get it. So um, that'll be interesting. So you guys should read this. I'm just gonna go over, like, over some of the highlights. It says um, right now there are about 45 billion XRP tokens that are distributed to non Ripple lab holders, guys, keyword non Ripple, because you know, Ripple has the escrow of the rest of the XRP tokens. Um, the first, a snapshot will be taken of all XRP ledger addresses at a specific ledger index number, guys, and that's on December 12th, they said. Um, right now, to claim the 45 billion Spark tokens will then be a, a, a portion to each remaining address according to their proportional XRP balance in, in the snapshot. This may result in a valid claimant's receiving more than one Spark token for each XRP token that they hold. This is due to not participating exchanges being excluded from the distribution, but being counted in the 45 billion tokens that are dis distributed today. Guys, that right there is some major news. That is the reason why you'll be able to get more than one Spark token per XRP. You guys can see if your exchange supports it. If it doesn't support it, you know, um, guys, it says 00 GMT on, on 12th of December 2020. That's the... Uh, Martha Costin's birthday after whom Flair's testnet is named. So it's kind of cool how, you know, like they did that. And then they say, if you self-custody, the method of claiming the Spark token is simply to set a message key field on your XRP ledger address to your Flair address. This process is detailed below. To claim Spark, you must do this by six months of snapshot date. Interesting, six months. I mean, we're already within six months. So I wonder, um, interesting. If your XRP is held at a supporting exchange, they will handle the claim process and distribution for you. You may need to take some actions within the exchange website app itself. If what happens to a spark that is not claimed six months after the date of, I don't know, guys, I, I don't know about you. I, I'm kind of a question and concern to claim your spark. You must do this by six months of the snapshot date. So you mean six months after the snapshot? I, I'm assuming they mean six months after the snapshot date, but uh, that's interesting because I mean, it's already within six months before. It says, what is a Flare address? Flare, it utilizes the Ethereum virtual machine for smart contracts. Flare addresses are Ethereum style addresses that use the same der derivation scheme. Flare addresses are not on the Ethereum blockchain. Guys, so keep in mind, Flare addresses are not on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, just These are some FAQs that are definitely very, very important. Um, 
Let's zoom in a little bit. It says, if I self custody, can I use my theory and public key on my hardware wallet as my Spark like address? So guys, if you guys use a, a, a Ledger Nit, Nit, like Nano S or Ledger Nano X or even a Treasure, this right here is something to uh, definitely keep in mind. It says yes. Note that Flare is a separate network from Ethereum, and that Spark is not distrib distributed on Ethereum, but it's set on Flare when it goes live. Also note that there is a privacy concern that your Ethereum account and XRP account will be linked together. Yeah, guys, this is what people are concerned about. This right here. People are concerned about linking the accounts because of this. Are you like, are you personally concerned, like, about this happening? Because I mean, it, like, it's true. Everybody can see that they're linked now, so that is definitely a concern. Maybe that's why you want to put it on an exchange. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? As always, guys, let, I'd like to know everybody's perspective, on, like, like, like on that. Because you know, if you want your privacy, this right here takes it away. So. Just think about that, guys. And then how do you get it delivered? You guys can read that then. Uh, you, you may claim Spark after the network goes live, but not after the six month date from the snapshot. Oh, so cool. It allows you to claim it after, but not six, not up to six months after. Cool, so they give you time to claim. That's interesting though, six months after the, it's kind of nice though, cause you know, like we all have lives and you know, if, if you do forget about it or something, it's kind of cool, but just think about it. Six months, so you won't really know how many people claimed until then. But it's nice that they're giving you the opportunity to, to get the claim going. And then this just goes more into detail. It ends up adding a lot of zero to and a lot of zeros before your Ethereum address. Um, but this is something you guys definitely want to read over. And, and, you, know, you, you got to put this um, message key in, but I definitely, Reno Sean, you said the VeChain is booming right now. I did see that, my man. Let's uh head over to CoinGecko. V chain up 16%. Let's actually head over here. I have it right here. Yeah, my man, it, it bounced off the 21. Okay, guys, think about it. Let's zoom out. Okay, there's not that much data on here, but it, the whole the whole system, like the whole indicator that Crypto Crew guys said about XRP right now is, is showing true for V chain. It bounced off the 21 weekly moving average, and you know, and it, the 21's above the 50. So guys, look, this thing. I mean, we could see this thing break two cents, 2.3 cents, and make way higher highs. What do you guys think about that? Are you like, do you have a big holdings in V chain, like Regno? And, and what's your favorite alt right now? I understand Uni is definitely, definitely a big deal right now. Let's refresh the page. You know, it's up about 100% last um, 24 hours. Obviously, I know it says 89, but last time it said 100. So, you know, it's at $5.50. I mean, what, did you guys buy in? What's going on there? And then back to the V chain. I mean, if you think about the whole, the 21 weekly, the 50 weekly, it's above it. It's looking good. Just like with XRP, how, what, what, here, I'll show you guys when we popped like back here see what happens when the 21 goes above the 50 look at that just look that's beautiful right so will we see the same kind of move with v chain i gotta get to the current day i mean it's bouncing off the 21 right now let's head over to the daily let's just see how it looks today let's get rid of this uh I do, I do want to see, okay, we definitely want to see above the 50 daily moving average. We need to see that, guys. So it has some way to go. Um, that's all the way up at about 1.6 cents, 1.7 cents. So, yeah, we definitely have to do that. But, guys, if, if you could see VeChain get above 1.6 cents in the next couple of days, make sure you guys like this, like this live stream and subscribe for some more content. But, yeah, I mean, we could definitely see this happen. It might have, have to consolidate because we're at a high for today. But I like that we're above this uh what is it 1.4 cent area that's definitely not like nice and red no you said not much but i will buy more later well the buying time was definitely down here when it was at a penny um and even back here but hey you know what if, if, if this thing's about to break up get above the 50 and break the two cent area because it's really at that uh 2.2 cent areas where, where it's a big deal so we definitely want to break that and then you know higher highs to come right because 
on here it was as high as a dollar um, it'd be kind of cool let's check it out on coin gecko the all-time high what it says two cents well then i guess something uh must have happened weird on that exchange interesting yeah i mean do, do you guys think it'll make it like like another all-time high what do you guys think about that do you guys use BitTrue? Because on BitTrue, you can uh, lock this up and get some interest in, uh, in VeChain, like, like the last I checked. It's kind of cool. Um, but, I mean, you know, also, you know, it's also nice to hold your own coins, too. But, uh, you know, if you like to get some free VeChain or some, some free coins just for holding, it's, it's not too bad. But yeah, guys, if you guys are just tuning in, we did go over a lot about XRP, a lot about the Spark token, a lot about the Flare Network. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much over. We, like, we can touch up on a few more things, but we, like, we have some interest in Uniswap and VeChain. So you guys can get some VeChain, which VeChain is on the list to possibly be listed on ProCoinBase. If that happens, guys, I think to the moon we go. I, I really do believe that. You know, it's on Binance.us, it's on Binance. Um, you got BitMax, you got KuCoin. Guys, it's... Uh, it's all over the place, guys. It's all over the place. I mean, where's BitTrue? BitTrue should be on here. There it is, guys. Here it is. Um, let's go to their website. You yeah, guys, I think BitTrue is great. I do not have an affiliate link for it, but I definitely would recommend it. Um, I thought they usually have a link right here. I guess start trading. So a little update about their BTC addresses. Guys, they're launching this thing called Liquidity Mining Launches soon. Um, this is definitely interesting. I just saw this today, and I'm like, what is going on there? Guys, this honestly reminds me of Binance right here. They're, they're like, I think they could be a, a potential Binance, guys. So it just says, if you guys are interested in DeFi, you know, check this out. You guys can make 30% to 200% gains, you know, a, APR. You know, but they're obviously saying, please know this is very risky, da da da. You know, so you know it's also possible that the, the amount you receive before the seven day trial will actually be less. But guys, they're they're going to launch the feature that will be able to provide coins for the following pools. You know, XRP and FNX. You know, XRP and BFT and a couple more guys. For like, you, so like this is what you'll receive. This is what you know, like like you're uh, supporting for. You know, ETH for ETH, USDT for USDT. Guys, this is definitely interesting. Um, it says it go, it'll go live at the end of October 2020. This is something to keep an eye out on, guys. Definitely keep an eye out on. And here, I wanted to show you guys. Oh, oh guys, you get 5.3% on your uni in Power Piggy, guys. They have this thing called Power Piggy. Um, did we get away from the website? Let's see if they'll show us without logging in. Because this is basically staking, guys. They'll allow you to stake. Uh, it's just so cool. So, so you see, like I said, with VeChain, you guys can stake your VeChain, get a 5.3% interest, Bitcoin, XRP, T, like USDT, Uni at 5.3%, XDC, Zap, Zillica. Guys, Link is on here. Divi, Luna. Guys, they got more and more. Um, I personally do, I do do this. I stake some BTR because I, I bought some in case this thing turns into be the next Binance. Figure, you know what? I'm gonna keep it on the exchange because it's an exchange token. You know, if the exchange goes under, then well, the token's not worth anything. So what I do is I I just take it there. I get 7.3% like interest, and hey, that's cool. So what do you guys think about something like this? I thought it was cool at first. I was like, whoa, this is like way too good because they, they used to have higher interest rates, but they, the CEO did come out and say this is not gonna be long term because they know it's not sustainable. It was like it was a marketing. Uh, plan to get more people onto the platform but i mean hey it, it might be worth to put a little bit in it's nice some of these 12 percent. i mean whoa divi 7.3 link is 7.3 what but there are caps guys you got to get in before you know it it, it it caps out but uh this is an exchange i would definitely can see it says sold out here sold out sold out this is an exchange i would definitely keep keep an eye on there it's one to have in like in the books. I'm not sure some of you may not have been around in 2017, but I know I, I know some homies that were trying to make crypto accounts on Binance back then, trying to make stuff on Coinbase, trying to make stuff on Bittrex, 
and they weren't allowed. They literally, exchanges shut down new registrations because they could not handle the influx of new people. Bittrex, I mean, Bittrex, because Bittrex was not around back then, but Bittrex back then, I believe you had to have a $10,000 deposit in order to even make an account because they only wanted serious investors. They didn't want the, like, the small guys in because they couldn't handle all the registrations. So I highly, highly, highly recommend making multiple exchange accounts because, I mean, and obviously there's DEXs. Don't get me wrong. Uniswap is good. But guys, the more options you have, the better. Because when, when stuff goes crazy, you just don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know. You cannot anticipate for it. And you want to have a lot of options, you know, so, so, like, so then you're good to go. And they also offer loans on Bitru. I would definitely read the fine print. But uh, it's, it's, guys, loans, like, think about it. You know, when everything goes up crazy high, you're going to be able to get a crypto back loan. And I find this to be so, so cool. You must do a KYC, I understand. The basic deal interest rate is, is right here. It tells you it's, you know, it's uh here. It, like the last I did the math, if I remember correctly, the interest rate wasn't terrible. Uh, so if I did the math right, you know, 0 0.016 times, oh, no, three, times 356, because that's, no, it's 364 is a year. And uh, it's a little early in the morning. It's about a 5.8% interest rate if I did the math right. That's not too bad, guys. Uh, not too bad for like a personal loan um, because, you know, traditional finance is definitely higher than that. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the lowest you can get is around 7. But, uh, yeah. So that's definitely in, like interesting. But here, let's check out. They have, all, like, on their exchange, guys, they have a lot, a lot of trading pairs, guys. These guys, see, they have a thing for XRP. If you're an XRP fan, let let me know down in the comments below. They have just all these trading pairs for XRP. Like, look at that. Look at that. You guys want to get some Uniswap and you have XRP? Bam. They got you, homie. They got you, guys. They, I mean, this was great because I remember when Bit Bitru was coming out and, like, and they said all this great stuff. I'm like, whoa, this is what's up. So what do you guys think about these trading pairs, guys? What do you guys think about Bittrex? Do you, do you guys use it? I personally re like recommend it. And FYI, there is no link in the description for this, but I definitely recommend it. It's something that I've used a couple times. And uh, like I said, I bought some of their BTR token. It's a BitTrue token. It's, it's kind of like a, the BNB on Binance. So I figured, hey, if, if this thing works out, you know, I have a little bit of it. Um, if, if it doesn't, oh, well, I didn't, you know, put my life savings into it. And if you go to the Power Piggy, you you could just take that. I, I guess I should probably like invite you guys because I can get a bonus income from friends. But um, if you go down here, you guys can stake your BTR at a 7.3% interest. So guys, that's what's up. I mean, you know, you get some free some free BTR. Like why not? I mean, it's already an exchange token, so might as well keep it on the exchange. And they have promo codes. I guess they have some promo stuff going on. You guys can... I used my credit card on here once to buy. Um, I might have to be logged in to see that part. But, yeah, because they changed their website. They're definitely con consistently, uh, like, updating. What, like, yeah, yeah, I've used Simplex, guys. I don't recommend buying with a credit card. The fees are high. And, I mean, it your credit card. But I'm not sure, like, this lending trading thing on here is as low as... That's a really low. And no wire fee for ACH. That's pretty cool. Actually... I might want to see what this is all about. That's kind of cool. And then trust token. So it's definitely interesting to see, guys. They're they're definitely going to be here to stay, guys. They, they did have a hack. Um, it was last summer, and guys, they thrived from it. You know, when when an exchange gets hacked, that's either a, a make or break. You know, we saw I saw like Cryptopia go under. Saw multiple exchanges go under, but this one got hacked, and they came back stronger than ever. Literally came back stronger than ever, guys. Okay. So I don't know about that, guys. You guys should check them out. And. Uh, Maybe I'll put a, like a referral link in, in, in the description one of these days. But what exchanges do, do, do you guys like to use? I know RL says he likes to use Binance. I know KuCoin, like, and he likes to use KuCoin. Are you guys a fan of Binance and KuCoin? I know Binance.com is great. Um, I definitely like it. But us Americans have to use Binance.us, which has less liquidity. That's why I like Pro Coinbase, because there's a lot more liquidity. And, and liquidity is just a buying and selling. So then you have a... a a tighter spread 
and all that great stuff, guys. So just just checking out the exchange. Let's go back to the home. It's always cool to see what updates they're working on. They they, they always post the latest and greatest of what they're doing. Um, you know, they have their BFT token, so you guys can check that out. Um, but yeah, they they have Union here as well, guys. Um, this is yeah, LRC as well. I mean, this is what's up, guys. Let's actually pull up Pro Coinbase. I just want to check something out. We're going to pull up Pro Coinbase. Bitcoin trying to make that 11K, but it's holding 10.7, so that's what's up. Ooh, guys, just noticing OXT at 29 cents. Such a great, such a great buy, guys. Um, but scrolling down, we see Uni, Wi Fi, LRC. Like, whoa. Um, guys, I said this was a great buy, like 23 cents yesterday, and look at it today. It spiked up to like 37 cents. I see EJ. You said, can I get Spark tokens on Coinbase? Um, see, Coinbase, see, it, it, they haven't announced that they're going to support it. So we're waiting to hear from Coinbase. But I would take a guess and say they're not going to do it. I would take a guess. But here, if, if you want to see the official supported exchanges, I can show you right here. It's actually right here. I already have it open. Supporting exchanges. This is official from the Flare website. It says Altcoin Trader, Anchor USD, BitTrue, CoinSpot, Cred, GitHub, and Uphold. And guys, I was just showing you BitTrue. If you just got in here, I'm just saying this is definitely an exchange I recommend. So, yeah, guys, um, this is definitely cool. So BitTrue, you might want to transfer it o like over there, or if you have your own wallet, you can uh, cl like cl like claim it yourself. I can do a tutorial video if you guys want like want me to. Just let me know in the comments below. And EJ, you, like you're welcome. Thank you for the question. I appreciate you watching the live stream. Um, are you excited to claim like to claim your Spark tokens? like EJ. Hey guys, I'm going to quick go grab some water. So hang tight guys. I'll be back in a jiffy.
Alrighty, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, uh, I think we're unmuted. Cool. So, guys, getting right back to BitChute, definitely a great exchange to check out. Um, and like EJ said, um, you know, is Coinbase supporting the uh, like the drop of Spark tokens? As of right now, they have not said. And the only ones that are according to the Flare website, there's only seven exchanges that are supporting it as of right now. I mean, they might have to update their site, um, but I would say updated is by checking out at Flare Network on Twitter for sure. And guys, like if you're like if you're interested in that, de like I definitely check that out because I mean, the, the, like this is where they're going to show you the latest news. And Crypto Aries, she has a, a, like a lot of cool videos about it. I would definitely check her out. She's definitely a follow. At uh, she's from Japan, if I'm not mistaken. So she always has great news from Japan because. I mean, all those Japanese banks, SBI, that are working with XRP and Ripple, it's always great to hear what she has to say. So, guys, definitely give her a follow. Um, yeah, and then it says Flare decided to announce that CoinSpot2 is the first exchange in Australia to support. And keep in mind, it's not on their website. It's not on their website that they're supported. So, their, their website's not updated. So, there's probably more that are. Um, and as time goes on, it'll go from there. But yeah, if you have your ledger, you can use the XRP toolkit to uh, claim your airdrop. So just keep that in mind. If you guys want a tutorial, I can work on that. Just let me know down in the comments below. Marina, ha happy Friday Crypto Brothers. What's up, homie? Yeah, it's it's time to do that DCA. And you know, my dollar cost averaging, got to buy a little bit of my cryptos, you know, because you get paid. Um, do you guys typically dollar cost average or do you guys just buy like randomly? It's always nice to hear other people's investing strategies. So you guys can just let just let me know. Um, who guys, I do have exciting news. I did get the mic yesterday. It was very late yesterday, so it's not set up. I have to do that. Hopefully I have enough time before work to figure it all out, but I'm very excited because then I can set up the camera and then, you know, you have my little, you know, face down here. So then you guys can see who you're talking to. There's no previous videos. Um, I use my laptop, but it'd be running at like a hundred percent CPU usage. And, uh, yeah, I can't be doing that. So I bought a new computer, got some multiple screens set up and, uh, It'll be easier to see your comments and to uh, like, you know, re like re like reply to you guys. So yeah, that's a flare. Um, like Marina, are you into XRP? You know, are you in that Uniswap right now? I I did see your comment. I believe you were the one that said you went all in on Chainlink, if I remember correctly. Um, I, I read everybody's comments. Don't get me wrong, I read everything. So I get things confused sometimes. But I believe you said you went all in on Chainlink because you believe the U.S. is going to adopt the oracles. Which, hey, I mean, it, it'll be great to see that happen. Will be great. So just checking. Yeah, cool. But yeah, Flare guys, um, the Swell event, that's pretty cool. It's not as cool as it was like last year and the year before when it was in person. Um, they had, you know, previous pre uh, president was there, guys. That was definitely interesting. Guys, Wheatston Win, he's definitely got to check out in the XRP community if you guys want to see what's going on. I believe he's the one that developed the Zoom. He's a, he's definitely a developer, so it's definitely somebody to check out to see what's going on. I believe he created the Zoom thing, you know, and he tells you guys do not import your private keys. Do not, do not, do not. Um, and then Marina, you said I only invest after studying what it does and its partners, and its partner potential. I'm all about smart contracts. Yes, smart contracts are great. And if you are all about smart contracts. Check out the Flare Network, my homie. Check out the Flare Network. Um, I'm not really good at using their website. I apologize, guys. But look, you have to understand, they're working on bringing smart contracts to the XRP. What do you think about that? Bringing smart contracts to XRP? Because they're utilizing the Ethereum virtual machine. And here it even says it. Where was it at? Yes, it's used with smart contracts on Flare. So guys, that's definitely interesting. What do you think about that? Everado, what is Etherscan? And good morning, have you seen VeChain? Etherscan is where you can see all the transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. So you could type your public address into Etherscan and you could see your total history. Or if somebody sends you Ethereum, you can see their total history. Um, and then have you seen VeChain? Yes, my man, we have seen VeChain. We checked it out a little bit earlier. But here, let's just pop it up. Look at that daily candle, guys. Look at that daily candle. 1.5 cents definitely seems like a great buy definitely seems like a great like a great buy guys are you guys holding some v chain 
And if you guys are not aware of BitTrue, they have this thing called Power Piggy. And let's scroll down. You guys can, uh, it's called staking on the Power Piggy BitTrue. And they have VeChain right here. It's currently sold out for this last 24 hours. But you can get a 5.3% back on your VeChain. What do you guys think about that? And Uni, 5.3% on Uni. They have XRP in here. They have Link. They have Divi, Zillica. Guys, they have some hot coins in here. US, Litecoin, Bcash, their native token, BTR. Okay, the list goes on. Hot. What, like, what do you guys think about, about the Power Piggy? So yeah, guys, BitTrue is definitely something to check out. Um, it's a, it, it could potentially be the next Binance. The, the Zoom wallet, this is where you can go if you have a ledger or if you, like, you own your own. <laughs> you said link us up. I, I can put my my referral code down for like for Bitchu if you guys are interested. Um, I'll have to do that after the live stream, of course. Is that something you're interested in, like Everado? Because yeah, if you guys use my referral link, um, I mean, and I, I don't currently have one. I have to like log in and create one. But yeah, like it's basically like you're you're helping hold me out, and you're also getting hooked up with some free tokens. You know, this this is what I love. I mean, and like I said, it's sold out right now. But the thing is, every 24 hours, um, there's usually an opportunity to get in on it. Because I remember doing that with the BTR token. Because I personally, I'm using this with the BTR token. So, you know, I'm not just telling you guys this is cool. I actually use it. So, but then I mean, Uni's on there. So who doesn't like that? I did see on Kraken they give a higher, um, like I think it's up to 12% for Uni. But see, things like that when they're so high, they change so quick. This right here, I doubt it'll go down lower. And there's still more more today. Already, at, at, like ever, I will make sure I'm writing this down. I will get my BitTrue referral link, and it'll be in the description of the video after this live stream. Okay. I, I appreciate you, homie, for using the link. We're like we're all here to help each other out, right? So so there's that. Um, guys, is there anything else go, like going on right now that I'm missing? I know I know VeChain was popping. Let's actually go check out, see what's going on. I know, I know Uni is popping, obviously. Um, Polkadot seems like a great buy right now. Chainlink is definitely a great buy right now. Cardano, as I've said, I said some of these things again and again. Cardano is a great buy. I think Tezos is great. I mean, Neo up at twenty-five dollars. That's what I like to see, guys. Up forty percent in the last seven days. And yes, I'm rounding there. Um, yeah, guys, V Chain looking hot. Iota looks like a great buy. Lend is down 15% in the past seven days. Definitely a great buy to pick up a little bit of lend. UMA is down as well. Definitely good, good buy and opportunities right there. Theta, guys, Theta, 17%. Whoa. Obviously, obviously Uniswap is up like crazy numbers. That is what's up. You got Compound at definitely a great buy. OMG at definitely a great buy. I, I got some people in the comments freaking out about OMG, how they think it might go down to like a dollar eighty. You know, guys, you guys gotta think 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 long term. You know, you guys gotta think. You guys gotta ask yourself, why did you invest in OMG? Do you believe in the future? Um, and you know, you're putting your whole life savings into it because you know you just gotta ask yourself these questions to become better investors. You know, it's, it's stuff that we all make when, when we first get in, into the space. You're going to make mistakes. and But, hey, utilize those mistakes. I, like It's like Jim Cramer said. You've got to allow yourself to be an idiot so then you can m learn. And then now you're not an idiot anymore. You're learning. And now you're getting, you know, inter intermediary. You're becoming more of an advanced person. You become an expert into it. So, like, you learn over time of what's going on. You know, we got Kusama. I mentioned that before. Up 40% in the last seven days. But uh, yeah, we'll see how, like how that works out. I definitely see major potential there. Digibyte, yeah. Oh, Loop Ring, I know, guys. It was up at like 37 cents, if I saw correctly, on Pro Coinbase. Yesterday, I said this was a great buy, like 23 cents, 22 cents. Waves is a potential Pro Coinbase listing. Um, no, that's not okay. I was thinking of something else. 
Cover Network down a little bit. Definitely some great buying. Guys, there's some great buying opportunities. You know, when you see some, something popping like Uniswap, you, you just got to be like, okay, what is everybody not talking about? What is everybody not talking about that has a lot of potential similar to, to, to Uniswap? That's why I made this live stream all about XRP, because I believe XRP, with this flare drop, guys, this is going to bring people into it. You know, they're having their swell event. Let's see if anything comes out of the swell event. Most likely not, because it's not the same kind of style of event that they've had in the past couple of years. But guys, you might get you know a little bit a little bit of new info. But anyways, we got to see what like what's going on there with that. like with XRP, and with going back at the chart, guys. If you guys missed it earlier, the whole 21. And let me bring it up. This whole cross of the 21 weekly crossing the 50 real soon. It could be this next candle could cross it. We go back. I'm not going to go into, into detail like I did earlier, but we like we go back. As soon as it crossed it back here, look what happened. It plays around it for a little while. Look what happens, guys. Just watch that. Just look at that. Pops up, consolidates back to the back to the 21 and back to the 50. And bam, bam. Just look. Don't you guys like those gains? And if, if we zoom ahead, it's just about to cross and start playing, crossing back and forth. So I'm calling it three to six months for us to see a major breakout. Could be less time, could be more time. Who knows? I could be wrong. But guys, this is from my analysis, from looking at the charts, looking at the history, seeing the potential XRP has. I, I believe that like this is possible. So if you guys kindly disagree or agree down down, like down the comments below, it's always nice to see, hear different per, like perspectives. But that's my whole point. Like like with like with like with Uniswap, there's people that were disappointed that they missed out on it. Hey. Just, just be aware that you're not going to get in on like on everything. And hey, there's always another major boom coming. So you got to have that um, abundance mindset. You know, and stay positive. It's all going to work out. If you're in this space, if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to grow, you're, you're going to make money. You're also going to lose money. So don't get so focused on the losing part because you know it's just going to happen. You know, it, it's it goes back to, to the Jim Cramer thing. You gotta allow yourself to be an idiot and then learn from those mistakes. You know, like like mistakes are opportunities for you to become a better person. You know, if it's your personal life, if it's investing, your professional life, just anything in life, it's uh, you know mistakes are there for you to grow. And it's also great to learn from other pe people's like, like like mistakes because if you, if you can do that, then that just puts you one step ahead of the game because now you don't have to make that that mistake. So yeah, that's just um, a little bit of advice for today. Um, I, I personally made a lot of mistakes when I first got into crypto. I mean, I didn't sell when I should have took some profit. I left all the money on the table. I should have took some money off the table. I had an investment that was uh, I put 300 bucks into it. It went up to thirty three hundred dollars. And I was and I was literally sitting at the computer like, huh, I, I can sell right now. Like there was liquidity. I saw the order book. But you know what? I think this thing's going to double again, you know, go to sixty six hundred bucks total. And guess what? It's now worth like a hundred bucks total. I should have took my, I should took, I should have at least took my three hundred bucks off the table. So that's just a little story for today, guys. If you guys, do, if you guys like those personal stories, let just let me know, and I'll make sure to include them more often. Yeah, flare token, guys. This this will be interesting to see what it's going to be worth because it has forty five billion do, do, like dollar supply. So it'll be interesting to see like how much are these things going to be worth like like when they come off the gate. But um, you know, it's kind of like like with Uniswap. It could have some major, major moves. Who knows? I think like Uniswap is actually a bigger deal. But only time will tell, guys. Only time will tell. And don't you guys like some free coins? Even if it's only worth like, even if you only get a hundred bucks worth, that's still a hundred bucks you didn't have. You know, so that's what's up. Alrighty, guys. We have a ten minute warning for this live stream. Okay, so ten minutes. Do you guys have any last minute questions? Make sure to get them in now because I know it, you know if it comes up on the nine minute mark, it seems like the chats are like a little laggy. It's it's not like up to date, so I'll miss it if you send in a last minute chat. So please get those chats in now. Make sure to like like the video, subscribe for more content because the crypto homie is always here to show you guys the latest and greatest and to try to help you have a better perspective on your investing in cryptocurrencies. So yeah, Uniswap, Bitru. All that great stuff, guys. You know, Weston Wynn definitely got to check out. He he's a, like a developer. He's helping me. You know, crypto. Well, I'm not even following this. I I I, I got to follow that. So let's just wrap up. I want to see what's going on on Twitter. 
see, I, I retweeted some things that I believe... Okay, guys, this is something about Omar Baum, you know, the crypto guy. He said, the fact that people are continuing to pay these exorbitant gas fees to use Ethereum further cements to me that the importance of being first mover. Bitcoin taught us this. Also, is there any question that Ethereum's moat just keeps growing? God forbid Ethereum scales. Hashtag game over. Guys, I, I, um, I agree with this. The whole idea of first mover is is a big deal. And people are, and, and, and what it's not that you believe it's a big deal or you believe it's not a big deal. It's looking at the facts. The fact is that people are willing to pay these outrageous, outrageous gas prices. They're, they're willing to do it. So that's what, you know, makes Ethereum work. Um, to, yeah, guys, I want to like celebrate you guys a happy six month anniversary to uh, two weeks to stop the spread. It's a little fun fact right there. Um, and polka dot's been uh, apparently the social sentiment's been soaring. Dot's definitely something I've been keeping my eye on. Definitely something to look into. I have some polka dot videos. You guys should check them out. Ooh, this I thought was super interesting. Um, by stacking, it said the Power Trade HQ, you know, on Twitter team is launching a mobile BTC options trading platform. They have just secured 4.7 million via token sale led by Pantera Capital. Guys, this is a big deal. Framework Ventures, CMS Holdings, and QCO Capital. Impressive lineup of investors. Guys, this is a big deal. They got some hot investors in, and we'll just see how this option stuff works out. So it looks like, yeah, so we got some interesting stuff from Binance. That US, they're, they're listing this thing called Soul. I saw this yesterday. It's now trading on Binance, you know, lowest trading fees in America. Guys, have you guys heard of SOL? Um, you know, it's something just to keep an eye out on. Um, something I did buy on Binance was that uh, HNT token, and I mentioned that uh, like a couple weeks ago. And uh, I don't think anybody's really talking about it. It's not one of those things that was talked about. But right now, I'm definitely up, guys. It's up 35%, guys. This is exciting. I got on this in around a dollar sixty. It went down to a low of around I think a dollar thirty. Yeah, dollar twenty nine. I have a dollar seventy eight. I, I got in around the dollar sixty area, so I'm definitely in, in the money on this. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reading that wrong. Hey guys, if you ever see me read something wrong, just let me know. Kindly tell me in the comments. The all time highs around two bucks. All time lows around eleven cents. Yeah, I, I got in pretty high, I guess, but it was when it got listed on, on Binance. I just saw there's not many exchanges for it. There's not many exchanges for it, for for helium, you know, the HNT. So when, when they launch some more, the price should in theory just go up. And it has a $78 million mark cap. So, so this thing definitely has room to grow. But guys, what do you think about those 35% gains right there? 35% gains, that's what's up. Oliver, you said Uniswap pumping. Yes, Uniswap is pumping. But like, let's refresh it again. It's up around, basically, it's, it's hovering between 90% in the last 24 hours to 100% in the last 24 hours. That's some major gains, my bro. Um, how much Uniswap do you guys got? Are you guys holding some big bags? Were you able to claim multiple addresses? Let me know, guys. Let me know. So, yeah, that's that. Um, Uniswap is pumping. It's on pro Coinbase. That's what's up. It, it got that Coinbase listing. Yes, it did. I have right here. I have it. Yeah, right here it is. Oh, we're going to be stuck in a loading mode. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah you said re regular Coinbase. Yes, regular Coinbase is a big deal because the average trader can can get it on it. Um, it's not complicated. But, you know, they've got Wi-Fi. they got Uniswap. I mean, buying right now at 545. That's actually, that's a little higher than here. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, that Coinbase listing is definitely a big deal. Do you, like, do you guys per, like, what, where are you guys buying your uni? Because it, it, like, it was listed all over the place. If we go over here to markets to see if they updated it. Yeah, Binance, Pro, Coinbase. Guys, it's all. Why does it do that? It's kind of weird. It's uh all over the place. So many exchanges. I, I I don't even think it's updated here. So, where are you guys buying? Um, are you guys still just using Uniswap? You know, it's kind of cool. And Oliver, are like, are you into XRP? Are you like into getting your free flare tokens? You know, like the flare drop for for like for December twelfth. You know, it seems like this could be a potential another, you know, major gains. You know, just by holding XRP, you get free flare. 
you know, who, who doesn't like a free airdrop? I know I love them. Some updates about Binance. Yeah, so Aubrey said, do you think about just buying some XRP just for the fork? Yeah, well, it's not it's, it's not a fork, but I mean, it's it, I mean, you're still getting a free token, so it, yeah, uh, I like I get like I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, just getting some free ones, like why not? And that's why I think there could be a major pump in XRP in the next month or two, just because people, you know, if, right now you at least get one for one XRP, you'll get one Spark token. But if less people claim, then you'll get more than one for one. But hey, I mean, think about it. Right now, it's about 25 cents for an XRP. Let's actually head over here. It's about yeah, 25.2 cents for an XRP. So you'll be able to get, you know, it's basically four for a buck, a little bit less than four for a dollar. So if you drop like a thousand bucks in it, you're getting a decent amount. Actually, real quick, let's run the math on a thousand dollars at 25.2 cents. You'll get. 3,968 XRP, which would be equivalent of 3,968 Spark tokens, and possibly a little bit more. Everado said, thank you, bro. Good luck. God bless. Let's become financially abundant. Yes, bro. Thank you so much for, like, for tuning in today, like my man, and good luck to you. Let me know what's going on. What are you checking out? Are you making some great gains? I always love to hear. And like you said, God, like, God, like, God bless. And yes, that's definitely become financial abundant. Yes, you guys have to have that that mindset of being of being uh, you know abundance coming to like to your life that will definitely help you attract stuff into your life you know personally professionally and financially so and Alvarado, i will put that bit true link in, in in the description i appreciate if you use it if you don't it's all right as well um but yeah definitely give a bit like bit true a checkout because of those, uh, the, like the Power Piggy, I, I wouldn't put all my money into Power Piggy to be honest with you guys, because like I just don't like having all my eggs in one basket. But you guys can get some, you know, get some a little bit of V chain if you have, if you hold some, put it in there. Like why not? Um, I personally am holding some Bitru in, in here right now because I believe it's a possible Binance, you know, the next Binance. Like you just don't know. Um, Oliver, ha like since you just got here, have you heard of Bitru? Do you, like have you ever used it? Do you have Bitru tokens? Because they have a lot a lot of uh trading pairs you know they're really big into xrp and they have uni on here they have uni so let's actually go to the home you know they have uni the usdt uni xrp the uni btc so that's what's up and they're always at, at like adding like the latest you said nope never heard of it well my man you got just just check it out um i think and I said this earlier, like for the, for the people that weren't here, in 2017, you could not make exchanges on some accounts because it was just so flooded with newbies that the exchanges just could not handle the influx of stuff. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna put a referral link after I'm done with this live stream in the description of my video. I, I'd appreciate if you guys use it just to help you know hold me out. I, I appreciate you guys, but um, yeah, the, like it's something just to help. The more exchanges, the better. Obviously, DEXs are nice, you know. It's uh, it's just something to have because oh, like you said, you like you remember you couldn't make stuff, like you couldn't make exchanges. Yeah, I had friends that like that wanted to get in and they just they couldn't happen. I know Bittrex, I think they had a a buy wall where you had to at least buy ten thousand dollars worth, you know, because I wanted to make an exchange there and wasn't allowed to, so because I didn't have ten k. And then Oliver, you said I dumped my BTC into an online casino to sell it back then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, things were crazy, right? Um, it was definitely interesting the way things were moving so fast. I mean, it took some exchanges. They had so many customer like, customer like support requests. It took them months. It took them months to get back to customers because they were so backed up. They were hiring more customer representatives and everything. It was just crazy. But guys, over this bear market, it was definitely great. These exchanges have built, you know, they're better on ramps now. There's more on ramps. They have more customer service. They're Everything is just so much better, guys. It's just so much better. So it's definitely exciting to see this early bull market start and see what happens over the next year or two or three. Like I've said, guys, long-term perspective will pay off. It will definitely pay off. So guys, we got a we got about a one-minute warning. Do you guys have any la, la, like last-minute um, comments, things I should be aware of? <laughs> Oliver, you said ETH 2.0 for Xmas. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to see Ethereum 2.0 get like get launched soon. Let's go back, just check ETH out real quick. I mean, it's at 384. 
Um, if we go to trading view, we gotta scroll up. You guys, we, we definitely need to get above that $430 area. East looking good though. Let's get rid of these. Um, yeah, like right now, on, like on the weekly, it's looking good. We just gotta slowly get up there and keep going. Uh, like, and you're saying they say November slash December. Yeah, I know it keeps getting postponed and things, but the thing is, they're working hard. You know, it's just a, a 2.0 pro, like proposal. Yeah, they're definitely working hard, hard, and I hope, I hope they can make it work because you know people are relying on it. Ethereum. You know, we we may forget that it's important, but it is extremely, extremely important, guys. We need Ethereum to be su successful because there's a lot of stuff built on Ethereum. You know, keep like just keep that in mind. Ethereum's a big deal. So yeah, there's that, guys. Alrighty, guys, it's already been over the 10 minute warning. So guys, I have to get going on with my day. But guys, as always, I enjoyed doing these live streams. It's nice chatting with you guys, giving you the latest and greatest from the crypto space. So I just want to give you guys a friendly reminder, you know, not financial advice, just friendly entertainment. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this live stream. You know, smash that like button. If you guys liked it, subscribe for more content, the crypto homie. Well, I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. And then like a last minute comment from Oliver he said DeFi will explode and ETH to 1K later. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see ETH at like two or three, five, 5,000 bucks. So guys, we're going to end on that note, guys. Hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.